What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. And I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. So big news, we hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. Woo! <laughs> so um, we are going to be giving away the Lego Ideas Vintage Car uh, from a drawing. Um, this will be one of your last chances to enter. We're probably going to schedule the live drawing for sometime next week. Um, so probably like Monday, Tuesday, well, probably like Wednesday, I would say of next week, we'll probably be doing the live show um, with the drawing for the Lego Ideas Vintage Car. So you have just a few more days to enter. Um, in order to enter the contest, you just have to subscribe to the channel and then comment, I subscribed on any of our videos. And that is how you can be uh, entered to win the Lego Ideas Vintage Car. And I'll send it to you anywhere in the world. Whoever wins gets the car. So be sure to enter. So thank you to all of you who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you to all of you who have liked our channel and followed along. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is just the beginning for us. We plan on only getting going bigger and better. Hopefully our videos are improving as we go. That's kind of the goal is to just get a little bit better every time. Um, we like to provide, yeah. we would like to provide content that's going to be entertaining and enlightening um, yeah. to all of you out there. So if there's anything that you can think of that would help us improve, we're always up for recommendations or ideas. We just want to say thank you and that we're stoked to hit 100 subscribers and this is just the beginning. So thanks. So today I got my final two packages from Bricklink for the Next lightsaber. This one is the Kylo Ren lightsaber. Um, so it is a custom built lightsaber. Again, I will post the link in the description below to where you can find this lightsaber, the parts list, and where you can find it to build it for yourself. Um, but this one I'm pretty excited about. So we're gonna speed build this one. By we, I probably mean me, because I think Jax is <laughs> yeah. going to be. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. And then once we're done, we'll come back and we'll talk about it and let you know what we think. Check See it out. Ya.
right, there's the finished product of Kylo Ren's lightsaber in Lego form. Uh, so check it out. Uh, you got this side and this side. Lots of cool little details in this one. Um, we'll start with the bottom. So it does have these uh, some really cool building techniques involved with these pieces on the bottom. Um, these are actually on little like swivel pieces so they can move. Um, so you can yeah. straighten them out to get them just right. It gives it a really cool effect um, that is very similar to the actual lightsaber that Kylo Ren has. Um, has some gold accents here. Just lots of little details to make it look mechanical and cool. Um, it's got this red line that goes the length of the lightsaber just like it really does in, in the movie. Um, on this side, you got the button right here um, that activates the lightsaber, I'd assume. Um, yeah, just lots of cool little details and building techniques were used. Nice and tiled off, nice and smooth. Uh, the one thing I kind of questioned was these uh, crossbars, um, the way that they're different colored. I had to actually go and look at a picture online of what Kylo Ren's lightsaber actually looked like. And I can I can see the look that they were going for with those. Um, it's, you know, when it heats up, it, it makes the metal turn different colors. And the actual lightsaber, there are brown, blue, and silver or gray colors on those crossbars. So I understand the look they're going for. I I question the way it looks in Lego form, um, just because they don't blend in together. So it kind of looks like it's striped. Uh, so I've wondered if I should replace those with all black pieces. Uh, might look cooler. I may do that eventually. Um, but, you know, as it is, it still looks pretty cool. And I do understand the look they're going for. Um, on the ends of each of these, they do have uh, little red pieces to uh, insinuate the emitters for where the lightsaber actually comes out. Um, and then it has like the in internal workings of the lightsaber, just like it does on the actual lightsaber that Kylo Ren wields. Uh, so yeah, just lots and lots of little details that are really, really cool. Um, there were a couple things I had issues with building this. Um, yeah. One was these pieces right here. What were you going to say? I was going to say you were missing six pieces. Oh, yeah. So my BrickLink order was missing six um, pieces that uh, I was able to work around. I was able to find some spare pieces in my spare Lego bins. Um, but it was a little bit frustrating that those weren't in my BrickLink order. Uh, but anyway, other than that, it went together pretty well. Um, but I did have a little bit of issues with these pieces, getting them on and to stay on. They kept popping off while I was building the rest of it. Um, they are a little bit finicky, so you have to be kind of careful with it. But again, this isn't something that you're going to wield around and play with and actually fight with. It's something that is uh, just going to kind of look cool on display um, and look cool it does. All right, so the Kylo Ren lightsaber in Lego form. Jackson, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, um, I really like how it looks. I know you said that kind of looks weird. Uh, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Like, I get the idea that they were going for, just like you. Yeah. Um, all the details I think I think are super cool. Um, the red line just in the movie, um, and all in the inner workings that it shows, like all of that. I feel like it's um, a great set. I feel like you definitely should buy it. Yeah. Um, it's not a real set, but I feel like it is. Yeah, it's a custom Lego set designed by somebody else. Um, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. This one was about, I want to say, 350 pieces, something like that. The ultimate cost ended up being about 40 bucks, I want to say, with shipping and everything included. Uh, I think it's worth that when you're dealing with uh, something that's this detailed and a custom set. I don't think that's too bad. Um, to compare it to the Cal Kestis lightsaber that we already built as well, um, it is a little bit smaller than that one. I do feel like this could be a little bit bigger. It is kind of on the small side. Uh, but both very, very cool lightsabers and definitely ones that I would recommend checking out if you are interested in Star Wars or Star Wars lightsabers. Um, the next one that we have coming is the Yoda lightsaber that Jackson is excited to build. Um, I understand that that one's quite a bit smaller, obviously, because Yoda is quite a bit smaller. Um, after that one, I think we're going to do the dark saber, um, but we're going to keep them coming. So if you enjoy these, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Um, we'd appreciate it very much. There it is, the Lego Kylo Ren lightsaber. Comment down below what you think of this set. Do you plan to buy it? Would you like to build it? As always, like and subscribe. And until next time, keep, keep on building.